Then, of course, when you move on to the um, Kendrick Lamar album, putting that as a second 7.6, I think, is paramount to maybe having to hand in your journalism card or whatever it may be. Your journalism card, sorry. It has to be, because that doesn't make any sense. After taking a five, six-year hiatus from the industry, he clearly says on the album that he had writer's block. So a, a guy with the pen that Kendrick Lamar has, has writer's block to the extent where he's struggling to even put together words. He's maybe debating and considering whether or not he's actually meant to be a rapper in the long term. Um, he decides to announce that he's going to leave his long-time label and collaborator, TDE, to set up his own imprint. He starts promoting Baby Kim and acting like a music executive a little bit there were many directions it was going in in the background he basically silently got married or engaged to his longtime girlfriend he had a couple of kids right he had he has had actual life experiences that you would assume most artists would maybe dilute or take away from your artistry but this album is absolutely banging banging from start to finish some of the introspective tracks that he speaks about um you know his his struggles with his family um with identity um what's the one particularly that i wanted to mention uh obviously it is the last ones right mother i'm so mother i sober auntie's diaries like pretty pretty good tracks in terms of really getting you kind of um to understand his mental his psyche especially considering he doesn't do that many interviews we cry together but in general the first because i always think great albums always start with great starts and i think the first five tracks of that album even if you'd go to the interlude as a way to kind of cap off that album because you know it's it's kind of plays like a flipping like a screenplay like or like a play itself that's what it kind of plays like right especially with all the skits going on in the background if you wanted to say track one to five is one act then that easily right yeah let's trade track one to five is one act let's say track seven to um three of the second disc is two act and then this last one like that is brilliant 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 album that deserves a way higher score than 7.6 it makes absolutely no sense but that's what i mean when i'm talking about the jack harlow score being 2.9 is jack harlow's album actually 2.9 no it's probably a five in my opinion if not a, a low f a, a kind of a low four but it's not a 2.9 so that's why i think in some cases these album reviews are pretty irrelevant most of the time you have to listen to music with your own ears and formulate your own opinion as to what you hear uh, based on what you like and what you're looking for in that given time sometimes you go into an album and you just go into it blind just think you know what let me just hear what this person has to say and then kind of take it from there but i think for the most part albums should be go you should listen to albums based off what you want to you just should go into and blind yourself you shouldn't listen or read anybody's reviews and then after the fact if you want to go back and maybe compare what you had to listen to to what they say fair enough but it extends to even movie reviews and tv shows how many tv shows that exist out there that you're absolutely gripped by that some people can't stand one of them i can recognize is maybe first 48 and stuff like that right or fringe this other sci-fi tv show that i was absolutely obsessed with when you came out before i love that show you play for some people they think it's absolutely absolutely naff like what the hell is this nonsense it's completely subjective but overall there is an understanding that the top people are the top people and for the most part if kendrick's taking five years off to put an album together and he delivers this project he delivered in this way it's for a reason and there's no denying this track is fucking brilliant let's think about it the single that he put out right that single isn't even on the album um what's it called uh the heart part five i guess that's probably going to be part of what's these um what's his what's his mix he, he does Oh, what's those mixtapes he does? Um, the one, do, 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 let's see, what's the mixtapes? Do you, do you guys remember what I'm talking about? Section eight, yeah, section eighty. Was that a mixtape? Or is the heart? Is the heart on all of them? I'm pretty sure the heart's on all of them, right? Let me let me check this out here. Let me go on to Pimper Butterfly. Is the heart on there? No, it isn't actually. Okay. Okay, the heart isn't on there. Is the heart on Damned? nope there's no heart on damned uh okay cool so where did he put so the heart only stops at where um good kid mad city no there's not one on there either so where was the heart because he's got one here in it right on um, section 80 no he doesn't actually okay interesting so maybe they've always been um throwaway tracks and this is overly dedicated Ovi Dedicated doesn't have the heart either. Okay, I didn't know that. Just literally learning this out loud right now. All right, so yeah, one of the best tracks on, you know, that he released, The Heart Part 5, 
an amazing and amazing track that isn't even on the album that was a throwaway single that he put out that just shows you the caliber that this man's playing at like he's not to be fooled with man i just think that score 7.6 is an absolute insult to artistry and so that's why i think if his is 7.6 you should completely um remove from your mind that there's any sort of weight behind the jack hello score either 2.9 is too low and 7.6 is too low for kendrick Lamar. kendrick Lamar, the mr morale and the big steppers is out now on all platforms that you listen to i really recommend you check it out it may be a bit too long for some people who like to have their albums to be a little bit more concise but i think for an artist like kendrick there are certain artists you just should allow to just you know put out albums however long they want to put out and you should maybe listen to them all the way through in one go instead of just skipping over it and maybe listen to only the features and i think kendrick is one of the persons that deserves or has earned the right for you to sit down and listen to his music from track one all the way to the end not that he's bothered because if you check social media he's out in ghana living his best life absolutely chilling with all the guys over there and having a great time by all accounts i see him playing football really badly i see him playing fifa i see him having dinner on the beach like he's loving life out there so big up kendrick lamar big up kendrick lamar